Hi everyone. Today we are sitting with a very very learned senior doctor from Imphal, Dr. Belashini Devi. I think when I met Madam, she really put me to shame. Looking at her energy, her go, she is 77 years of age and she has come down all the way from Manipur to learn from here. Thank you so much, ma'am. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका आप हमारे पास में आए. So, madam, मैं आपसे जानना चाहूँगा कि सबसे पहले आप सबको बताएं कि आप आप कौन हैं, आपको क्या ड्राइव करता है, कि आप इतनी दूर से यहाँ पर आई और दो कोर्सेज के लिए आई. हाँ. I'm very happy. Thank you so much, Pankaj Talwar sir. I have heard your name and I have seen you your name in the media, in the Facebook. Then I was, I mean, uh, so so much interested to learn IVF. So I have come long way from Nepal to uh, here. But of course, uh, my journey started like this. I I did my MBBS from Dibrugar, mm -hmm. Assam Medical College. Did you? Uh, in the, I finished in the year 1970, 71 intensive. And then I joined my service from 1972. Okay. Uh, 1972 March. Uh, so I have been doing my. Uh, I have joined during that time. There were no, not much doctors in Nepal, Manipur. Overall, uh, we can count the numbers of doctors. Like uh, in the lady doctors, uh, I, I think only seven, eight doctors mm -hmm. in that time. So. Oh, we don't have any time to do further study, so they called us and uh, they asked us to join the service in the state service because mm -hmm. a scarcity of doctors. So we have joined in the state service. Then after five years of service, uh, then after uh, finishing my MBBS, joining the state service. After one year, I got married with my husband, Doctor C S Chandramani. Of course, uh, he is also my a friend. I mean, during the college time also, mm -hmm. we were friends and uh, we got married mm -hmm. and uh, we were posted at uh, Hilly area in Jiribam area mm -hmm. for two years. Then after serving five years of state service, we went uh, for post-graduation in Benares Hindu University, BHU. In the year 1980, I passed my MD obstetrics and gynae. Then after coming, but after doing my PG, I joined in the state service again and practiced my duty there. And then I trained in uh, laparoscopic sterilization and I did so many sterilization in that time, during that time. And uh, I used to visit so many places in the peripheral areas and the people liked me so much. So I became by the grace of God, become very popular, and they used to come to me, and uh, I used to practice in the, during that time also. Then suddenly, uh, after doing so many times in obstetrics and gyne, gynecology, nowadays by that time though there were no ultrasound, nothing of the infertility like that. But then uh, in Manipur, the scenario in Manipur is the sterility cases very high. Very high, I should say. So every patient, I mean, in my OPD, say, say if 20 patients have come, mm -hmm. out of that, 5, 6 to infertility. The 25 percent is uh, infertility. Infertility. In Imphal. In Imphal. Presently. Presently. And many are, uh, they went to outside Manipur. Mm -hmm. Because they are thinking that in Manipur to uh, no so, uh, I mean, experts are there. So we better go outside and they get pregnant that way they have done IVF outside, outside. and uh, coming back to Impal again for deliveries for deliveries and all but then uh, even though I am very senior I have uh, retired from service in the year 19 uh, 2006 2006 so long gap now after but then after my um, pension uh, retirement also we have got a Hospital of uh, 100 Bedet, City Hospital, Imphal, Ching Meirong, we call it. And uh, I did my service there and uh, I have got uh, my 
son also he is also gynecologist another son i have two uh, sons and one daughter both uh, of them are all surgeons um, one is gynecologist one is a bariatric surgeon then my uh, daughter is also doctor and her husband is gastroenterologist uh, he is professor in medical college and both of my sons also they are uh, associate professor assistant professor and all but then i uh, i have seen your name and i was very much uh, i mean uh, attracted by you so i wanted to join your course and i wa- i also want to uh, do some infertility cases because patients are coming and then i i, I did few of course um, basic things and people are crazy they they from when uh, of course we all know that uh, infertility is such a subject i mean such uh, it is just a uh, type of disease 40% 20 30% to just by counseling it just uh, got really happens without any reason they may not conceive so by talking and counseling and uh, giving some few i mean uh, basic things also they can see mm-hmm. and uh, from bihar you, do, you don't believe from bihar patients used to come to me because dr bilasni to, knows to how to bihar to impart to impart yes only for me they said i don't have any baby if we go to dr bilasni she will make us mm-hmm. pregnant mm-hmm. that way even though i don't have any knowledge mm-hmm. i mean uh, simple things basic things mm-hmm. i know it mm-hmm. but by applying the knowledge and uh, they have just a uh, path on me <laughs> that is the only thing so then i thought why not i try again few little knowledge mm-hmm. more mm-hmm. but even though my son is doing then he is doing some noya and i just cannot go to him and i said please tell me something i cannot do like mm-hmm. that or no since i am the senior most and everybody thinks that they i am the senior most mm-hmm. i should know better mm-hmm. that is why i feel ashamed so i have just come, come to here. you so okay. nice of you but, sir but how many you centers you have in uh, uh, in, 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 in manipur in how manipur many? we have ivf centers five six centers ivf centers uh, small small centers okay brooming ivf centers ivf centers they have started doing mm-hmm. but not so uh, i mean prominent they so not so famous mm-hmm. they uh, gynecologists to so many gynecologists in our gyne society we have um, uh, i have seen yesterday only 174 gynecologists but 74 gynecologists in manipur society uh-huh. oh, wow i see okay, okay. Uh, so uh, we have a uh, association Good. in pal in palgani society good, good, good. so we used to do cme program in all every mm. man, uh, every uh, monthly mm-hmm. or twice in a year or uh, twice in a month or like mm-hmm. that so mm-hmm. you know so many i mean specialist to add so many there mm-hmm. then uh, ibf center including or there are i think six centers six ibf centers, centers. they are all doing well but not so famous but people are have faith on others 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 uh, they used to go outside so what is lacking in manipur in case uh, i may ask you uh, i what is lacking is it uh, the government initiatives or it is uh, probably probably it is uh, some time it is uh, i think it is due to uh, and awareness of the people also it is there okay uh, it is there and the government from government side the uh, i mean it is co- a bit costly <laughs> for the patients and in government hospital store they cannot provide this hmm. facility and in private also uh, they cannot hmm. give so much uh, expenditures <laughs> are so high and but they they are in politic case uh, about it so good it was wonderful talking to you ma'am and mm-hmm. uh, to understand how the whole terrain works uh, imphal uh-huh. nagaland so shillong is a good pl- the place which is near to your place yes 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 shillong uh, and guwahati nagaland nagaland, nagaland. Uh, then <coughs> guwahati guwahati then to our uh, south um, 
No, it is in the western, uh, in the eastern side is Myanmar, Burma. Mm -hmm. We are just border uh, next to Burma mm -hmm. or Manipur, then Nagaland, Mizoram, then uh, Silchar, Agartala is the um, capital, mm -hmm. then Arunachal in the northeast region. So seven sisters mm -hmm. in the northeast. Mm -hmm. We are the most, I mean, uh, border. And then we can, we have so many, I mean, our culture, our sports, you might be knowing in a small state, our state is 22,740 uh, square miles, only very uh, small area. And the uh, people, population is about 30, 40 lakhs only. Mm -hmm. uh, so out of that, so many Olympians in sports like Mericom, Mirabai Chanu, in Olympic they got bronze, uh, I mean Mericom to bronze, Mila, mm -hmm. Mirabai, silver, mm -hmm. and uh, in hockey also. So many, I mean, in sports they are very good and in culture it is very high. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, regarding this, uh, uh, professionals also, so many doctors, engineers, but I don't know why somehow or other we cannot flourish so much. <laughs> I don't know, there must be something it, wrong. Good with... leaders like you, it will flourish, <laughs> but I, I would ask you one single question. Yes. I am 58, you are 77. Yes. But you look younger to everyone around us. <laughs> no. Full of life and energy. Oh, thank you so much. What do you drive? No, so yes, for all I of just, the people who are watching you today, I uh, just I just want to work. आपके पीछे आप कौन सा बैटरी लगाती हैं? It is not that. Thank you so much. I just I just want to work very hard. I always work. I said to all my juniors that uh, do you work nicely? If you are very happy in working, then you will be uh, young all the time. If you don't work, then you will be old. Oh. I feel like that. No, then uh, of course. It is the um, age is nothing. It is a number. <laughs> we Sorry. it is the uh, it is the mind. Mind mind is the thing. I'm thinking myself very young, mm. so I want to show to be young. <laughs> that is the only one I. <laughs> So thank you so much, madam. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. So I think. Uh, thank you. Big thanks to madam for being with us, and I think it's a life-changing uh, session for me. In fact, and uh, I've never uh, spoken to anyone so senior, seventy-seven, and being so brilliant and so hardworking. And Bora, I'm very really sure, ma'am, you'll bring Olympics to to <laughs> Manipur and Nepal in field of infertility. Thank you, thank sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.